the world conspiracy is in inept hands right now. Whereas prior to the early the first half of the 20th century, it was in very expert hands. But those old the old guard died off. Every, we can fight over the year when, you know, but say since the 1950s or whatever, the old guard died off. You don't have your Cecil Rhodes anymore and you don't have your Lord Kitcheners anymore, you know. So the new brats that came in to rule the system in the place of their fathers are fucking cuckoo and they're inept at running the machine. So a lot of the chaos that you're seeing is because they've lost control. They're out of control and they're nose diving. We need to know this too. And the one go-to that they main, still maintain control over us while the whole thing is out of control, what does that button do? Right? They're, they're, not, they're, not, they're not reining this beast in anymore as well as they did. And that, that also accounts for some of the fallout. And slightly, you know, I'm not a big believer in awakening or global awakenings or anything, but the little bit of more people that are aware of what's going on, I do concede there are some. That's also happening because the loss of control upstairs. But mm -hmm. the one thing that they still maintain is fear, right? So our modern age is an age of anxiety and also fear because fear is the mind killer. And as long as they can generate, well, this is going to be an AI controlled grid. This is going to be this. This is going to be that. Or, you know, the environment and, and the Chinese and the Russians, you know, and Ukraine. They will do anything they can do to put fear into your individual mind so that you're paralyzed. Or oh, the money system is going to go down. You'll have a credit card. You'll be, you know, and all of this is potentially true. But there's an equal case for the possibility of, of bringing those things to bear as much as there is the, the theory that they can be put in place. But in what the average human being needs to do is to realize that as you're listening to Big Brother tell you about all the horrors, already these agents, you know, these Gerald Salente types, anybody telling you about the crash and they, all, you know, just look objectively at the dis, dispensing of fear and trauma. And this particular time is bad for that since, you know, the Trump era and the attacks against Mr. Trump. Sure, but don't forget, that's just a little ramping up of what they've been doing since Eisenhower and before and before. Right. This is an old agenda. It's just a little bit more maximized now and out of control. They've unleashed the anarchists, as the alleged statement of Albert Pike said, right? Okay, but don't restrict that to the last five years. That's madness. These people have dispensed fear for centuries. It's one of the old Orwellian, you know, techniques. So then think about it and say, am I completely paralyzed, you know, by the black helicopters and the satellites and the AI world that's coming and coming? And wait a minute, wait a minute, stop! Isn't fear the number one way that the Black Lodge controls me? Not through some credit card chip and the microchip and baby... Yeah. All the way along your fear of those things, and I'm not saying to not rationally be objectively aware of these pot potential dangers, but oh, anyone who studied the Brotherhood for five minutes properly and sincerely knows that it is through my, the fear that they generate within me that they not only feed off, but control us all. So I, it's psychic now. It's psychological now. Sure, they may bring in some fucking, they may have black, Helicopters right over my fucking house. But more, that's not what they're feeding off. They never have. And when a little bit of time in history, when they did, they scrapped it. They went, that doesn't work because people will soon free themselves of that. The one thing you can't ever free yourself from is the generation of psychic fear and the feeling of we're fucked, we're done, we're done, we're done. And so they manufacture all sorts of Dr. Strange Love Frankensteinian stories about the world to come. And you just go, well, that's it. We'll be immobilized. I'll have a band and, or my cell phone and they'll know where I am and I won't be able to move and I won't be able to do it. And it's all probable, probable, probable. And all the time, the victim never realizes I'm walking with fear. Fear's got me. Right. And that is the key, number one way that any demagogue controls your fucking ass. But now to free myself from it, it's an invisible enemy. The other stuff, at least, you know, maybe I can do something about that or move to the country or, you know, so the human race might rise up and might, 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 might. But while I'm waiting for that, I'm drowning in psychological terror. That is the control mechanism. That is the control mechanism. The fear is the mind killer.
And that I just can't get across to people. Just doesn't get, doesn't sink in to the people in this movement at all. They're so caught up in the the data and uh, well, the fear. They're caught up in the fear. I see why and everything, but you know, psychologically speaking, the one thing that goads you more into their new world order is fear, because that makes you impotent. That makes you, you know, uh, uh, totally, <clears throat> totally incapacitated. I hope everybody heard that. That is just, it sunk into me. If it didn't sink in anybody else, I know it does for Josh. Fear is the mind killer. It's their number one weapon. They've been at it for thousands of years. They understand how you tick. They have the manuals on the desk right now at all times for every advertisement, every Super Bowl halftime show, every Grammy's performance. They know how to bring out the, the worst of the worst to keep you hopeless. If they can make you feel not uh, fear and what's the cousin of fear? Despair. Right, the black pill. The it's all oh, bless. Look, the real alpha type. You've said it many times, Michael, and you're an example of it. Is they do it even if they feel afraid. They there. That's not a. That's not part of the way they register. They learn how to develop the courage to stand even if they know it's hopeless. You got 300 Spartans rising up against millions. You got seven samurai or seven men. We've got plenty of examples of this, of the one against the many and actually winning simply because they addressed their own inner psychic fear that they had. Because, and think about it, what do the bullies in your high school do? They're not as big and scary as they pretend to be. They're all the smallest little men in the room, but they are really good at the costumes, aren't they? And aren't we living in a world of costumes? And aren't those costumes designed, yes, to predate on your children and to do all these things, but deep down, I've said it a, a few times now, they don't care what it is specifically you're afraid of as long as you feel that current of energy that they absolutely do feed off of and generate their power from. So if we, that means there's the solution. This can kind of be where we wrap. The solution to get out of this matrix is to go within and address that fear on your individual level. And what better way to address fear than to address the unknown? Because people are afraid of what they don't know. And this is why when you follow the path of knowledge of the truth, be it uncomfortable or not, in fact, you're addressing your fear head on, right? Yes, and you must rationally support what we've been talking about by observing that every decade there is a new rug pulling. Back in the 50s, it was the Soviet threat and the atomic bomb, some nutter is going to push the button. And do you realize the effect that that had on the youth and everybody else in the Western world? We're all going to die in a big holocaust. In the 70s, they wheeled out the unions in Britain, I'm thinking here, you know, with the, the, the unions... Uh, Thatcher era and the, the, the want and the mass strikes to pull the rug. Then in the 80s, they have another version. You see the oil crisis, the Shah of Iran dethroned and whatever, or the Palestinian-Israel connection, you know. Then every decade, so you can observe what we're talking about and see, my God, this is orchestrated. Now it's this, but yesterday it was that. And they will they, they can turn this Rubik's Cube whatever way they want. Because they know that as long as they can control, they have one leash for a million necks. Try to find, and that's fear. It really is. And that doesn't mean that we cancel that by some, well, I'm not going to think about it then, and it's ponies and rainbow. I didn't say that. I said just observe your enemy and what they're doing. That's all you need to do. You don't swing over to another sort of ghastly denial or you know pretend it doesn't exist. You must study it scientifically. Here is a phenomena that's taking place. I understand how the controllers do it. I'm going to try and immunize myself against it. So that even if I'm watching a Tucker Carlson or even you know several other well-meaning types, I'm seeing that they're generate they're, without them maybe even knowing it. They're generating paralyzing doses of fear. Hmm. So you know, and then and then I must make the personal decision of what I'm going to do about that. Do I turn off all of it? and go my own way and read more and study more and, and lower the level of fear so I can come back to a bit of science. You know, I'm not there to teach anybody what to do about this. Each person must take this up. Uh, or just like I say with subliminal stuff to, you know, my anyone listening, once you know what's there, you know what's there. So immunity starts just by knowing that that phenomenon is there and plugging it in. You go, I'm immune to it because I, I see what they're doing over there. And this is pretty much the same way. What you later decide to do, you know, is is your own affair. And that's beautiful. I'm not going to violate a person's ultimate freedom by telling them what to do or negating what they are doing. 
I'm just saying, notice that this phenomena is there and even exists in some well-meaning people who are trying to shake you awake. But at the same time, they may be, you know, adding fuel to the fire of the fear and anxiety that is really paralyzing people, moving towards going and getting pharmaceuticals, moving into nonsense like Buddhism, you know, and non-dualism. And, you know, all of this is generated out of fear and the need to just block out reality. Well, they don't need fucking implants then, do they? Work it out. You are walking to them. You, you're saying, chain me. I'm already paralyzed with fear. They don't need to incarcerate you or doing anything else. You you're become your own victim. That's when they really get an orgasm. They feed off that fear. They literally actually feed off the fear. The dark side feeds off your fear. So stoking the fire to try and get you to be inflamed is really their methodology of the black sorcerers. The more, the more fear this planet generates, the more you're giving them, you know, inoculations and the more that you're providing them as key nutrient. And uh, I'm afraid this is a very, very tough message because, you know, it begs the question of then, how do you escape it yourself and how does the courageous alpha person, you know, move from that point on? Well, that's it. That That's the point. This is where we need to go. We are evolving toward, you know, finding out how to run culture better as we speak, that we're part of a greater movement, you know, a kind of a Hegelian movement toward a greater understanding of how evil works. This is what this is all about, is discovering the ways of evil, the lineaments of it, the anatomy of it, so that we can do something about it. I'm not the expert. I know what I know, but, you know, yeah, you've got to liaise with the human race, realize that they're mostly dumbed down, uh, like we've been discussing, and try to find some key solutions, you know. Maybe only a few people will be able to implement it. So what? That's always been the case. But but they're very powerful tools. So never get pessimistic because the tools that we're offering are very, very powerful once they're in the right hands. But the general rule is that these people feed off your fear. They can see you coming. You know, and and if you're in this level, if you're in that level of pathological fear, you're already dead. You they've already won. You can be walking around the sun with a big Prozac smile on your face, but they've already won the day. You're no threat to them at all. Well said, Michael.